Hi, my name is Anotida, and welcome to EULT TV. Okay, so I'm going to be your host for today. And as some of you know, today's the 25th of May, and it's Africa Day. As you can see, I'm in my gear, um, and we're going to be touring around the school, asking different students from Africa to tell us about their nationality. And okay, so stay tuned and get ready to travel through Africa in a few minutes. Hello, hello, hello again. Okay, so Africa Day once again, and uh, we have. Could I question me and you? Okay, so how does it feel celebrating Africa Day in Cyprus? Well, it feels kind of different because there isn't much to do concerning Africanness or celebrating our cultures except for wearing the clothes and just rocking the African spirit. Well, I must say, you are looking amazing. I mean, doesn't she look amazing? <laughs> She's looking pretty African as well. Okay, so where are you from? I'm from Zimbabwe. Okay, Zimbabwe. So which part of Africa is Zimbabwe in? The southern part of Africa. Southern part of Africa. Okay, so what can you tell us about Zimbabwe, um, cultures, um, tourist resorts? I mean, what's, what's beautiful? What's good? What's good about Africa? I mean, Zimbabwe. Well, I would say everything about Zimbabwe is good. Mm -hmm. um, we don't really have a culture per se like when it comes to clothing because we wear animal skin but you can't walk around wearing yeah. animal skin yeah, yeah. as you can see i'm just rocking this african way which everyone yeah. just rocks but uh, to define us as zimbabweans we don't have a dressing which defines us but as tourism is concerned we have a lot of places zimbabwe is a beautiful place to go in when you want to relax and have fun we have the victoria falls we have the kariba we have chinoy caves we have a lot of places like even wildlife anything you want to do in zimbabwe even budget jumping is there there's a lot of activities to do in zimbabwe and the weather it's excellent it's superb you can actually stay in zimbabwe whether you're coming as a tourist or just visiting you can stay as long as you love and they're friendly people we are really friendly people by the way okay so thank you so much that's zimbabwe from kudakwashe hi guys hey uh so what are your names uh, my name is Bongin Kosi Fagute. Bongin Kosi and Nukabi Sashachaya. Woo! Okay. <laughs> so, where are you guys from? Uh, from Swaziland. Swaziland. Okay. Um, which part of Africa is that in? In the south. It's in the south. South Africa. Southern Africa. Yeah. Okay. So, what can you tell me about your country? Um, culture? I don't know. Like... What you guys do in Swazi, how many languages you speak? Uh, okay, um, while well, we're a monarchy, that means um, we're under a king, we're a kingdom. Mm -hmm. Well, we've been newly named as the kingdom of Eswatini. Mm -hmm. um, we have one language, well, two languages, Eswatini and English. Mm -hmm. So we only have like one culture, we all follow the same culture. For about a million, yeah, that's, that's, that's basically it. It's a beautiful country though, very small and we're, you know, close and yeah. That's that's basically it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. So you guys are like generally like more cultural. Like, is like, um, do you guys like have more like Western or like are you guys like very very cultural? I think we're very cultural because like every like December holiday, there's this thing called Ingwana where like um, the whole country like participates in uh, culturally cultural things. So I think we're very not Western but very traditional. And yeah, I think you no know, Southland is a very beautiful country, safe and enjoy it. I invite you to come over. I would definitely love to come to Swaziland. Okay, well this is really cool. These guys are from Swaziland and very cultural. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you. Hi. So we have Kevin. Kevin from Rwanda. Okay, Kevin from Rwanda. Um, what can you tell us about your country? Uh, my country um, is developing well. Mm -hmm. The economy is stable, and um, like, okay, like twenty no twenty four years ago there was like this huge war, mm -hmm. and then after the war it was actually genocide. But then after genocide, uh, like everyone just moved forward and. Um, we started like developing businesses and in all major type of businesses like constructions 
are like like all those type of stuff in like now it's actually like for example it's actually a good place to invest in the people who are great uh there's a lot of security there like it's a really really safe country now and and technology technology wise um it's advanced uh okay compared to like some con like most countries and um we're also fighting against pollution like for example plastic bags are illegal in Rwanda and uh yeah Oh, fun facts. Okay, so would you classify Rwanda as a cultural place or like it's a bit like influenced by like a lot of western culture? No, okay. Um I could say that Rwanda is like mixed between western culture and also like nation national culture cuz now like the difference between Rwanda and other countries is that like in Rwanda we have we only have like one huge culture we don't have like for example in other countries like in other countries they have like multiple cultures with multiple languages and stuff but there's but like the national language in Rwanda is official language is English but we speak the sec uh, another language called uh, Kinyarwanda that's like the local uh, language and that's like the only language like we speak in the whole country and so yeah that's pretty cool. Which part of Africa is Rwanda? Uh Rwanda is in the eastern part of Africa. Uh like near it borders uh with Congo and Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda and yeah. So yeah, that's Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so thank you. Thank you so much, Kevin. Hi. So we have Lamin Sedikan from the Gambia. You're from Gambia. Oh, that's really cool. Um, which part of Gambia? Um, which part of Africa is Gambia? Gambia is in the west part of west, uh, western part of Africa, west West Africa. West Africa. Yes. Okay. So, what can you tell us about Gambia? Uh, Gambia is the smallest country on the mainland map of Africa, and it is surrounded by the three part by a neighboring country called the Senegal, and the west part by the Atlantic Ocean. It has a population size of estimated 1.8 million mm -hmm. as of 2013 census, and uh, it it's officially uh, uh, the main uh, the language well spoken there officially is English because we have been colonized by English England in 1965 and a republic in 1970. It has mainly eight tribes, very friendly people, kind and humble, and we have a lot of fish to offer to all others who might want to visit with very good, beautiful, sandy beaches. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, so thank you so much. We have... Um, Joanne. From? Nigeria. Nigeria. Okay, so can you tell us um, which part of Africa Nigeria is? Um, Nigeria is from the western part of Africa. Western part of Africa. Yes. Okay, so what can you tell us about your country? Um, Nigeria is a really diverse place. It's made up of 36 states. And um, we have about if not more than 250 languages. Uh, we have three main languages, that's the Hausa, the Igbo, and the Yoruba, mm -hmm. and every other part kind of cuts out from those three main languages. Um, very diverse cultures, different traditions, f different types of food, very happy people. No matter what they're going through, they always find a way to make themselves happy. And yeah, I think they're very friendly people as well, <laughs> so <laughs> yes. And we're, I think we're very, very known uh, um, around the world. Mm -hmm. All right. So thank you so much for telling us about your country. All right. All right. Hi. So we have... Mubita Nyambe. And you are from? Lusaka, Zambia. And where is Zambia in Africa? It's in the southern part of Africa. Okay. So what can you tell us about your country, languages you speak, um, culture, well, about languages, we have over, like, I think we have 72 languages. And when it comes to culture, we have several cu cultures. Um, but mainly, I know my tribe, <laughs> which is the Lozi. Kuomboka ceremony usually held um, around between, I think, May or April, somewhere there. Um, and usually, it's a, like, it's a movement between, from our, one of these lands in the western side of 
um, Zambia to another part of the land because usually there's a flooding and it's usually beautiful. People from all over uh, the world can come to view this uh, ceremony because we get to wear our culture, I mean our outfits, which is known like the men, they wear the Sizibra and then the women wear, um, okay, I'm not really familiar with the women's outfits, but it's really beautiful color normally worn with red or something I don't know mixtures different kinds so it's a beautiful ceremony and the boat is huge it's known by the boat which has an elephant on top and it's so beautiful I love it and yeah there are other cultures that are held when a woman is obviously becoming yeah I can't go further into details but yeah okay so that's a lot about Zambia thank you so much Hi, so we have Samuel Ojawamigwe Samuel and Lovisa. Okay, so uh, Samuel, where are you from? I'm from Nigeria. Nigeria and Namibia. Namibia, okay, so we have Nigeria and Namibia over here. Okay, so um, Namibia, what, what can you tell us about Namibia? How many languages you speak? There are so many languages in Namibia. Well, Namibia is located in Southwest Africa. Mm -hmm. um, it is the only place in the world where the sea meets the desert. That I tell everybody that that is something special about my country because it is the only place in the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Okay, and Nigeria? Well, uh, Nigeria is, uh, uh, let me say, a giant of Africa. We do say that. Uh, so it's, lo it's located at the let's say, western part of, the, of Africa. So uh, Nigeria, we we have a lot of tribes, mm -hmm. and uh, we speak, in fact, let's say uh, more than 100 languages mm -hmm. in Nigeria. So that uh, definitely of, uh, English is an is an official language, but we, you know, over here coming over here itself, you know, these the Cyprus um, people tends to meet us that we are not speaking a language. We are, the thing is just that we speak uh, English as a local language, like. Uh, official languages, we, whereby not everybody speaking the same, no, like Cyprus, everyone speaking Turkey, Turkish as a uh, language. So we, we don't have a specific language like that, we tend to have different kind of languages all over Nigeria. So uh, Nigeria is a very nice place because we are, like, let's say, most populous, like the second populous country in, in Africa. We are more than 170 million, million in number. So, and uh, we are bound with uh, a lot of natural resources and uh, Nigeria is a very good place, a very, very nice place. You enjoy it to, to go there if you if you Okay, so thank you. That's um, Namibia and Nigeria. Thank you so much, you guys. Okay, so thank you everybody for watching. This is Africa and I really hope you enjoyed a little bit about Africa and stay tuned for more. Okay. I love Africa.